Ever heard the old phrase, strike when the iron is hot? Well, it's never been hotter than now. All this month at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung GS6 or the GS6 Edge for just one penny when you send them for service. The Galaxy S6, normally $49.99, now just a penny. The Galaxy S6 Edge, normally $99.99, now just a penny. Strike now while supplies last. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. The Appalachian Regional Healthcare System is continuing to recover from a cyber attack, and according to the hospital system's website, ARH's computer systems are anticipated to be restored soon. ARH declined to offer further comment on the cyber attack, but one networking expert said it's inevitable that large computer networks will be targeted at some point. There's always going to be somebody that's trying to get in. Clayton Potter, the technology director for Pike County Schools, said hackers look for any possible way to break into computer networks. Potter said computer networks can be compared to homes with locked doors. It's it's a lot like a like a home. You know, it's um, you have to you have to do all the prevention that you can, but you have to kind of learn or expect that it's eventually it is going to happen or it can happen. And there's there's too many people out there that's that just they're trying to break in every day. There are steps that can be taken to protect data, including removing the data from the network itself and storing it in an independent server, as the Pike County School District has done. You know, you don't keep all your money at the house, you keep it in a bank. You keep it in a secure locker or storage area, but you've got good locks on your doors, maybe a security system in place, uh, maybe even a big dog, but still, you know, if enough burglars try to come in, you know, one's going to make it through while they're around the other side of the house, you know, working on the, the fire alarm or whatever, so, or the, or excuse me, the burglar alarms. In the wake of the ARH attack, the hospital system had to resort to using pen and paper. ARH Vice President for Medical Affairs, Maria Brahman, complimented the hospital system's physicians and staff for taking the situation in stride. Reporting in Pike County for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.